So as you can see here is my box with my little DYI 70 watt amplifier inside, filter board, rotary switch to select the filters manually, true SDX here, and inside I'm using a small relay that's similar to the relays that's on the filter board. In fact, it's the same type of relay. I just ordered a set. So, um, I'm powering this with a uh, battery I'll show later. Uh, it's a large uh, lithium power pack for solar. I have my True SDX firing the relay. The relay is constantly on, so there is a current draw on the True SDX. And then when I do the PTT, which I have set up with the speaker, I am uh, releasing the relay. The, power, the current is pulled from the relay, which draws down the current on the amplifier to trigger the relay within the amplifier. And you can hear that. Okay. So, I'll show another angle where the... Uh, where you can see the power and uh, what you know what I see within the amplifier on the output to the antenna. So here is the uh, MFJ 945E antenna tuner. It's all manual. It doesn't even require electricity. Just the antenna. It's got an inductance switch and antenna transmitter dials, all that stuff. So. Here's my PTT with the mic. I'm going to blow into the mic a little bit uh, so you can see what's going on as I speak. Uh, so there's power. This is Kilo 4 Sierra Delta mic. So if we look closely there, you can see that it's about 50 watts. I don't know why it's not focusing, but Kilo 4 Sierra Delta mic. This is Kilo 4 Sierra Delta Mic. Is this frequency in use? Okay, so it's spiked at about 60, almost 70 there. The uh, right there is the 50. That's 30, or yeah, that's 30, and then there's 10. This is Kilo 4 Sierra Delta Mic. Alright, so then we have our true here. And the antenna tuner, which I have to turn tune the true SDX to the impedance of the input of the uh, circuit for the amplifier. If I don't, then it won't it won't even send a signal. Now I do have to tune it off a little bit. I have to tune the uh, the antenna tuner off so that optimal power does not go to the um, DYI amp because when I do that uh, it's a little too much it'll run it up to like a hundred watts and then I'll start popping fuses um, and I don't want to damage the circuit this is my uh, by the way I've been hiking so I've got clothes over here uh, doing soda but this is my little kit for the true SDX Got uh, all the ropes, got coax, got my wire, my spark plug is down in there, as you can see, uh, writing equipment, and a log book that is uh, about to be logged into soda. Uh, so this is uh, a little kit that I started as a challenge for the beginning of the year to see if I could do SSB in 5 watts, and so far I've had successful activations with this little kit. And that is not using this amplifier. I'm a QRP -er. I'm just having fun. This is the battery pack that I'm using. Uh, this is the whatever it is. It, you, you can find it on Amazon. It's uh, just a solar pack that that I have for other purposes. It has 120 volt plugs on the back, bunch of USB, bunch of DC out. And I'm just using this to power this amplifier. And uh, you can see that it was at 97 when I started just now. 
and it's been at 97. I didn't do much, but I just want you to know that it didn't pull it down so fast. Um, and that's what we got going on here. This little getup works. Uh, last night I was on 80 meters and was able to uh, boom in. I got a signal report in the Carolinas. I'm in Georgia. I got a signal report in the Carolinas at 20 over. Uh, everybody else heard me just fine on the True SDX. Uh, they said that it sounded like I had a little RF in there, but it was clean. So uh, I, I'm not sure what that means. I'm going to have to do some signal checks with somebody. This is K4SDM 73.